Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss custom functions in Google Spreadsheets. Google Sheets offers a wide variety of custom functions. When you navigate to the function menu, you'll discover tons of custom functions. However, sometimes these built-in functions might not precisely match your needs for your current project or tasks within Google Sheets. In such cases, you have the option to create your custom functions. These custom functions can be as versatile as the built-in ones. In this video, I will be guiding you through the process of creating custom functions, starting with a straightforward example and gradually increasing in complexity. Stay with me throughout this video because I'll provide you with several examples of custom functions that can prove quite useful in your daily work. To get started, go to Extensions and select App Script. This will open the script editor in a new tab. Now let's create a simple custom function. As you can see in this example, our custom function starts with the word function, followed by the function name. The function parameters go inside the parentheses, and within the function block, we return the input value multiplied by 2. Here are some key points to note. Your custom function must start with the word function. The capitalization of the function name doesn't matter. You can use any case you prefer. Avoid starting the function name with an underscore because names beginning with underscores are reserved as private functions within your app script project. Remember, your function should return something within the function block, or it won't display any results. You can quickly test this function by entering double A1 in your sheet, and it should work as expected. Now let's explore more advanced scenarios. What if you want to double all the values in a range of cells? When you reference a range of cells in your custom function, the input parameter receives a two-dimensional array of values. To handle this, you can modify the function like this. Now, let's dive deeper into the modified function for doubling values in a range of cells. We first check if the input is an array using a conditional operator. If the input is not an array, we simply multiply it by two. However, if it is an array, we take a more intricate approach. We utilize the map function. We begin by mapping over the input, which gives us an array of rows. Then, for each row, we map again, this time over the individual elements within the row. In this inner mapping, we multiply each element by two. Now let's test this function. I've already populated some values in these cells. So, in your sheet, you can enter a formula like this, equals to double A1 to C3, and then hit enter. You'll notice that it correctly doubles the values, and you'll also see that the results overflow into adjacent cells, which is why you observe values in multiple cells. This demonstrates how you can create custom functions that are versatile and handle both single values and ranges of values seamlessly. Now let's move on to the next interesting topic. We're going to explore how to take input from a single cell and return multiple values. To do this, we'll introduce an additional function. In this case, we'll create a function to generate multiplication tables. Here's how this function works. It takes a single input, such as two or four, which represents the number for which we want to create a multiplication table. The function will loop through numbers from one to 10, multiplying the input number by each of these values. It then pushes these results into a multiplication table array and returns it. Let's test this function. I've already prepared a formatted table for multiplication with some default values in it. Now, what I'm gonna do is call the multiplication table function from a cell. For instance, I'll enter equals to multiplication table A1 using the cell as a reference. When I hit enter, you can see that it correctly generates the multiplication table for two. If I drag this formula across from column A to column E, you'll see that it generates the tables as expected for each value. This demonstrates how you can use custom functions to perform more complex calculations and generate valuable data in your Google Sheets, making your work more efficient and tailored to your specific requirements. Now let's add another layer of complexity to our custom functions. We're going to create a function that calculates the distance between two Google Map locations. Retrieving Google Map locations is as simple as finding a place on Google Maps, copying the URL, and pasting it into your sheet. I've already prepared a sample sheet for demonstration, including locations like Germany, London, Paris, and Italy. To achieve this, we'll create a custom function named distance as crow flies. It's called crow flies 
because it calculates the straight line distance between two locations. This function takes two parameters, location URL1 and location URL2. To make this work, we need another function, get lat long from map URL, which extracts latitude and longitude from a map location C. Here's how it works. I've defined the get lat long from map URL function to handle this task. I've provided an example of how a map location URL looks with latitude and longitude after the at symbol. We split the URL at the at symbol, and then we further split the retrieved part using comma. This allows us to access the latitude and longitude, and we return these values. The function also includes conditional checks to ensure that the necessary parts exist. If they don't, it returns null. Once we have the latitude and longitude from the map URL, we apply basic mathematics to calculate the distance between the two points. We use the Haversine formula, which considers the Earth's curvature to provide a more accurate result. Finally, we convert the distance to miles by dividing it by 1609 and return it rounded to two decimal places. Now, let's test this function. I've already set up a sample sheet with location URLs to calculate the distance between, for example, Germany and Paris, or London and Italy, simply enter the formula like this, equals to distance. As crow flies, b2 and d2 as the arguments. When you hit enter, you'll see that it correctly calculates the distances between these locations. This demonstrates how custom functions can be used to enhance the capabilities of Google Sheets, allowing you to perform more advanced calculations and extract valuable information from the web. Now, let's delve into the next custom function we'll be creating, one that enables us to fetch data from the Internet. For this purpose, I've chosen the movie db.org, a fantastic resource for movie data. I've already acquired the necessary API credentials, so let's go through the code for the fetch movies function. First, it's crucial to obtain an API key from the movie db.org, which you can access on their website. This API key is essential for accessing their data. The magic happens with the URL fetch app service, which allows us to fetch data from the internet and make get or post requests to API endpoints. Here's an overview of how this function works. In this function, we set up an options object that defines the method, get in this case, and includes headers with our API key. We then use URL fetch app dot fetch to make a request to the themovdb.org API, specifically the endpoint for discovering movies. The response is fetched and processed. To make the results more user-friendly, we've created a helper function called convert movies to array. This function transforms the data into a two-dimensional array, and we've predefined the fields we want, such as title, release date, overview, popularity, and poster path. Each movie's data is mapped and any necessary transformations are applied. Once we've fetched and processed the data, then we return it here in this line. Now, let's see it working. I have already formatted this sheet for quick demo. I will type equals to fetch movies without any argument and hit enter. See it has populated the sheet with data of popular movies. I am inserting simple image formula to convert poster URL to poster image, like this, in cell A2. Let me drag this all the way down. Now you see nice poster of all fetched movies. This showcases how custom functions can be used to pull data from the internet and streamline your Google Sheets with external data sources, making your work more efficient and insightful. If you liked this video, then please like it, and subscribe to watch more such videos. Thanks and see you in the next video.